Lioness sees her old trainer after years apart and her reaction is incredible. The lion is a type of cat, the largest in the world after tigers, that has been around for thousands of years. They are considered the kings of the jungle for a reason, their massive size, lethal claws, and sharp teeth. Their weight can reach up to 500 pounds. As of today, there are about 40,000 wild lions in the world, though their numbers are decreasing rapidly. Those who are not in the wild, live in captivity. This includes mostly reservations and zoos, which although may not always be the best life for them, does help prevent their extinction and increase their longevity. Kiera, a female lioness found in Mexico, was rescued when she was just a young cub and was brought to a shelter, where she was raised by her loving trainer Adolfo. Although there are not many details regarding the mysterious Adolfo, we do know he rescued the seemingly fierce lioness in Mexico, when she was just a small cub. He brought her to a wild animal reservation, where he named her Kiera after the Lion King movie character. There, he helped raise and train her, tending to all her needs and simply caring for her. He was her adoptive father, taking her under his wing, and bonding with her like she was his own. As Kiera was growing up, it was clear that she needed a better place, one that will be more suitable for her needs as a grown lioness. Though heartbroken that he has to say goodbye, Adolfo knew he had to make the right decision for Kiera's well-being. He decided to transfer her to Mexico City, to the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation Sanctuary, where she will receive the best conditions a lioness can get and be with others of her kind. And so, the time to say goodbye has come. In a few heartfelt posts, Adolfo captioned videos and pictures of them, saying they will definitely be reunited someday. Despite being from different species, he somehow managed to bond deeply with Kiera. She seemed to also be sad to part with him. A year passed, and Kiera was growing bigger and stronger. This didn't mean she forgot him, though. Maybe she was just waiting for the day they might meet again. A year since their goodbye, Kiera's wish came true. Adolfo did his best, and was finally ready to visit the place where Kiera was staying, and this time hopefully to stay. He couldn't wait to see his beloved adopted daughter again. His optimistic posts in social media showed his anticipation for the upcoming meeting. And so, he came to the sanctuary where she was held, and stood by the fence, waiting to be let in. Standing by the fence, it was clear that Kiera sensed something was happening. Kiera, in a move no one expected, recognized his voice and came closer to the fence to wait for her beloved dad to come in, growling in excitement. The trainers warned Adolfo that it might not be a good idea for him open the gate and be inside the park. Who can predict how a wild animal will react? They didn't know if her reaction meant something positive or not, and were afraid for Adolfo's safety. At first, Adolfo was also hesitant to enter the cage. What if Kiera did not actually remember and recognize him, and will attack him once he went inside? Wild animals can be unpredictable and behave in ways that no one can expect, and Kiera's growling and walking back and forth near the fence didn't help ease his fears. When the trainers cautioned against an unpleasant outcome, Adolfo had second thoughts. But eventually, Adolfo decided that his love for Kiera will win. So Adolfo didn't listen to anyone, trusting his bond with the lethal lioness. He decided to go in and reunite with her, and his decision paid off, big time. The lioness jumped on the surprised Adolfo and hugged him, tackling him to the ground. The picture says it all, really. Everyone could see that their bond is indisputable. Kiera stayed glued to Adolfo, and they stayed together like this for long minutes, with Kiera biting Adolfo affectionately in the knees and face. The two were filmed embracing and falling to the ground as Kiera pounced with all her weight on Adolfo. She lay on him, making excited growls and breathing heavily from the adrenaline. She bit his face and pants in the most loving way, clutching him to her with her paws and feet. She let him go for a few minutes, walking around a bit, and then went back to his arms again and again, like she couldn't get enough of this person who she considers family. The foundation trainers were amazed by this touching moment of reunion. They didn't expect an animal who seemed so dangerous and independent on the outside to remember a person whom she didn't see for a long time. Maybe it has something to do with lions and their packs, lions are the only type of feline that lives and needs to be in a pack. Being on their own is not good for them and they will not survive. This shows the strength of animal-human connection, something which had existed long ago. The human-animal bond had existed from the beginning of civilization. Evidence of that dates back to the prehistoric times of cavemen, from carvings, and painted animals on their caves. There were also archaeological findings. 
A 14,000-year-old female skeleton was found buried with the remains of a dog. Also, ancient Egyptians were known for their love of cats, so much so that when their pet cat passed, they would shave their eyebrows to signify to the rest of the community that they were in mourning for their beloved pet. But the trainers were not the only ones amazed by Kiera's surprising affectionate reaction. The video of the two's reunion was published on the Black Jaguar White Tiger social media account in 2015, and immediately spun heads around, taking the web by a storm. People were emotionally attached to this moment of connection between two species, proving again how much animals of all kinds are friends. It was very touching to see, even if some professionals agree that it may not be as simple as that. People have a tendency to attribute human emotions to things that don't necessarily have them. The scientific term is called anthropomorphism, and it is the general attribution of human emotion to non-human entities, but not abstract concepts. This is also due to a specific emotion we call empathy, which is the ability to feel into someone else and identify with them. We empathize with other humans, but also with non-human entities, such as animals. We humans need this empathy feel a connection to others, but do animals. Many behavioral scientists and animal researchers attribute empathy to animals as well. They conclude that it must exist in their range of emotions, based on some years-long research and watching their behavior. It has been mostly confirmed that empathy does exist in animals that are more social, such as dogs, chimpanzees, and even elephants. But since lions are creatures that need constant company around them, it may not be too far off to say that they can fit into this category, too. It is no wonder, then, that the video was such a big hit when it was first publicly released online. People were in awe of the big lion hugging a human in such a carefree way. A lot of people argued in the comments that this is the proof of animals having human emotions, and can feel, too. Others even gave their own personal examples, their dog that came to sit by its owner's side when they were sick, the cat that sat on its owner's belly when they wouldn't leave the bed. The video was a worldwide sensation, being published online in several places and countries. This managed not only to bring people closer to wild animals, but also to raise awareness about wild animal sanctuaries and reservations, and the lion's danger of extinction. But although the moment was touching and emotional for many, a lot of the comments expressed fear and concern for Adolfo and the other trainers, claiming that their reunion and generally having a close encounter with lions could end badly. The concerned comments were probably because the lions reminded readers about the 2003 lion attack. In a Las Vegas circus show, entertainers Siegfried and Roy performed in front of 1,500 people who saw an enormous white lion mall trainer Roy Horn. The lion wounded him, and the show was shut down. In recent interviews with fellow trainers, they commented that the main reason for the attack was actually because Roy didn't spend enough time with the lions before shows, and they almost didn't recognize him. This points again to the fact that a connection between animals and their carers is crucial. Many studies show how a big part of efficiently training an animal is the bond between the animal and their trainer or caretaker. Strengthening this connection must be done consistently and frequently, making the animal attuned to the trainer and feel him. There are also many doubts regarding this alleged bond, since many people doubt animals have the need to feel. Even though the question of whether or not animals have feelings has long been asked, its answer remains under controversy to this day. Although most scientists would agree that animals do physically react with emotion, such as an increased heart rate and hormones in the blood, they aren't too sure about the psychological reaction. This is mostly due to the fact that we can't go inside their brains and record feelings, just like with people. But we really want to believe that they can feel like us. And Adolfo is not the only person brave enough to get this close to the wildcats, proving that there might be truth to their existing empathy theory. Kevin Richardson, nicknamed the Lion Whisperer, is known for his unusual profession of cuddling up with the lions of South Africa. In his many videos online, he is seen running towards lions and lionesses, hugging them fiercely and petting them, later lying down beside them on the savanna grass. It is quite a spectacle, but this only shows lions can be friends, too. The Australian wildlife conversationist and filmmaker dedicates his life to highlight and bring into focus the image of the lion. Using the media, he wants to elevate the status the lions have acquired over the years and their reputation. He has produced several documentaries and feature films, and even wrote a book, to achieve his goal. His unique work with large predators, and specifically with lions, has captivated the whole world, and has brought to light the beautiful connection between lions and humans. No one knows about this connection better than the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation, who took Kiera in when she grew up. 
Their goal is to rescue and care for as many wild felines as possible, making sure to keep them in an environment fit for their needs, keeping them healthy, and preventing any illegal hunting. All these reduce tremendously the lifespan of lions living in the wild. The sanctuary's handlers and trainers are so fond of their rescues, they affectionately refer to them as kids and babies. The nonprofit foundation was established by businessman Eduardo Sirio in 2013. He decided to build a sanctuary for wild animals after rescuing a jaguar cub he named Cielo. Apparently, the cub was displayed in a pet store in Monterrey, Mexico. But saving large cats seems to concern not only regular people. Numerous celebrities frequented the sanctuary over the years, such as Kellen Lutz, Paris Hilton, Khloe Kardashian, and even the Backstreet Boys. It seems that everyone can find appeal in helping those in need. However, not all agree that this public frolicking with wild animals is positive. Some concerns were raised, after some celebrities posted their pictures cuddling the animals, that this kind of exposure sends the wrong message to the public. Animal activists were worried that the exposure might encourage the thought that this is how it's supposed to be, and make taking pictures with wild animals a thing of the ordinary. Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries director, Kelly Heckman, believes the public knows better than that, though. In an interview, she said she hoped people would recognize that this is the opposite of a natural situation, preventing it from spreading. Kiera's publicity has been nothing but positive, though. Not many know this, but the name Kiera has different meanings in several languages. In Italian, for example, it can mean bright, while in Hindi it might translate as God's precious gift. Both seem so fitting with our beloved lioness. Another one that sounds right is in Korean, which means first ray of Sunday. It seems that both in semantics and in real life, Kiera brings positivity and light wherever she goes. This was definitely just the beginning of Kiera and Adolfo's story. Since getting back together, their relationship only grows stronger every day. His touching posts on his social media account show as much. He posts videos of them playing together, and pictures of their many hugs captioned, Happy Father's Day, or My Daughter. There's no denying how deep the connection between the two is, and how much love resides in Adolfo's heart for his, not so, little Kiera. He even posts regularly about her birthday, the last one being in March 10, when she was five years old.